Walker Bueller faces the Padres again 4 0 lifetime against him with a 1 6 2 ERA only Zach Greinke with a better career ERA against the Padres in a Dodger uniform that includes his outing on Friday game one when these teams met up in San Diego gave up two runs over six innings. It was dominant with the cutter and when you talk about Walker Bueller he doesn't like to be embarrassed in front of people glad to have fans back in Dodger Stadium. Fernando Tatis Junior from Walker Bueller and he starts the night with a strikeout at 97. Some very confident fastballs from Walker Bueller. Trent Grisham coming up. Swing and a miss an angry fastball at 97 and back to back K's to open the night. A chance to strike out the side. Instead of bouncer up the middle at second base tonight Sheldon Noisy making his Dodger Stadium debut completes a one two three first inning for Walker Bueller 21 year old making his second start he is familiar with these Dodgers last time out three and two thirds pitched well gave up a hit struck out three and here's Justin Turner Turner will have this one picked by Machado the throw to second is in time that shoulders been bothering him and he stretched it out pretty good down there to make that play. At the lead runner in bats. Spectacular play by the Padres third baseman. From his knees, getting the lead runner bets at second base. One out in the top of the second inning. There's a high fly ball to left center field. Well hit. Back at the wall. Pollock makes the catch against the wall. Pollock had it well tracked every step of the way. Well, a kind of a cool night. You better get all of it. And for Myers, he'll go back to the dugout and he'll get a hang with him. And no classic case of just missed it. Now here's Weathers who throws left and bats right. Cued off the end of the bat along the line. Bueller throws and gets him. He took a good long look at it and said, That's not rolling foul, is it? So he had to grab it and throw him out. Nine up, nine down for Bueller. No score after two and a half. No hits yet. Walker Bueller and Ryan Weathers doing what they did on Friday night. Bueller slashes the first hit of the night into right field. So much for that lack of stress. Got to bear down against everybody <laughs> with this Dodger club. Starting pitchers normally have all the competition amongst themselves. And for Bueller, he. Uh, there's a board. There'll be some agitation marks tomorrow during early batting practice when the Dodgers are home. The starting pitchers will take duty. Padres will be coming to bat here looking for their first base runner of the night against Walker Bueller, who is nine up, nine down to start. And he'll hit a line drive into left field for a base hit. Over is Pollock and a wide turn at first, but back to the bag at first is Tatis. Jumping on that first pitch, and there's the first Padres hit of the night. I'll take that. And Tatis is aboard with Grisham coming up. Tatis takes off, swing and a miss for strike three. Throw goes past Seeger, but hits the umpire and stays in the infield. And that's the only thing that stopped it from going into the uh, the bleachers or into the center field. Not a good throw, and nobody was going to get in front of that ball to block it. No, right off the boiler. Wow. <laughs> Glad to see Chad is okay. First man in scoring position for either team tonight, and Machado comes up. And a liner into left field for a base hit. Tatis being waved around. Pollock's throw is not going to go to the plate, and scoring from second is Fernando Tatis and the Padres. Strike first on top, one to nothing. Manny Machado driving in the game's first run. Another linea for Manny Machado. A curveball, really outer third. Manny Machado laces this ball again, beating it right through the shift. Fernando Tatis Jr. was on his horse. They had no shot to get him. Padres one nothing lead. And Ryan Weathers has really been walking on a little bit of a tight road so far tonight, guys. He's allowed the leadoff batter to reach base in all three innings. Will Smith, the cleanup hitter. That is on the inside corner, and it's strike three. Five strikeouts for Ryan Weathers. And two outs here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Padres in front, one to nothing. 2-2, two -two, swing and a miss. Six strikeouts for Ryan Weathers in a one, two, three, fourth inning. He is shutting out the Dodgers. It was Zach McKinstry that singled against him on Friday night. It's Walker Bueller that has the only hit tonight. Really rolls it up the first baseline. Going to be a very tough play for Weathers, who throws it past the first base. Yeah, they're going to call him out because really was running inside that 45-foot line. He was actually in fair territory. He's just now discovering he has been called out. He was called out by home plate umpire Tony Rendazzo, who signaled, yes, 
He was inside the line. You have to run between those two lines the last 45 feet down the line. Two outs, base is empty. Is a slow ground ball left to the mound. Weathers again, picks it up with a glove. Fired a first, he got him. What a play by Ryan Weathers. Getting it done on the mound and off. Big time defense being played by the kid from Loretto. Andres, one run, three hits. Bueller has struck out seven, hasn't walked anybody. Two strikeouts tonight for Grisham. One in the first, one in the fourth, both swinging. There's a drive to right field off the bat of Trent Grisham. His fourth home run deep into the pavilion at Dodger Stadium. Puts the Padres on top two to nothing. This pitch goes in at 94 and it leaves at about 107. We've talked about the high fastball all night. Yeah. Oh yeah. That was a high fastball. And you know what, Don? It, that that's a poke at Dodger Stadium. Three quarters of the way up the pavilion. That is a poke. And the Padres have doubled their lead, two to nothing here in the sixth. My lord. Talking about getting on some high cheese. Ryan Weathers already the longest outing of his career. One out in the bottom of the sixth inning. This is caught. Laying it out is Jake Connerworth to make the grab on the backhand. Two down, Rob Seeger of a base hit. Defense has to be sound, and it has certainly been that way as Ryan Weathers will exit a terrific start for him tonight. Ryan does not allow a run and one hit a single to the opposing pitcher. What a night for Weathers. What's it going to take for this offense to get going, buddy? It's very quiet, and it's very rare that this is going to happen with these resumes. A fly ball to left field, and Pollock has just left the yard. So the Dodgers are not going to be shut out tonight. They will go 91 straight without having been shut out. For Pollock, his first home run of the year, and the Dodgers are back to within two to one. So they break through on A.J. Pollock's first home run of the season. It's a 2-1 game. Now it's a one-run game as Sheldon Noisy steps in. It's a tying drive. Left center field. It is gone! First career home run. Lightning strikes. Tied it to. Dodgers go back to back. Pollock and Noisy. The game is tied at two. Sheldon Noisy's first home run as a Dodger evens the score. Padres tonight one for three with runners in scoring position. First pitch from Trident swung on again. Ground ball to short. Backhand Seeger to second for one. On to first is in time double play. The run scores though. And the Padres have taken a 3-2 lead here in the eighth. And a chance to make Dodger Stadium rock again. Bases loaded in a one-run game in the eighth. Is to second, eats up Cronenworth. The second for one on to first. They got him nicely done. Cronenworth gets that baseball on a tough hop, flips to second for one on to first. The DP ends the inning. Some kind of play by the Padres. This is one of the best double plays, if turned, that you'll probably see in a long time. So a couple K's to open the ninth for Melanson against eight nine in the order, and it's up to Mookie Betts. Mookie Betts strikes out the Padres win. A 3-2 Padres win. What a night in L.A. for the San Diego Padres.